Could it really be happening? You guys, my first Taco Bell review, we're gonna check out the all new Quesalupa. These things just came out today, you guys. We're gonna try them out right now. Hang on. you guys I'm excited about this one I hope you are as well here we go hey how are you hey I'm good how are you doing okay, good boy. I want to try uh, all three of the new uh, quesalupas you guys have the beef the chicken and the steak please okay and I'll just get some sauces up at the window just a couple of hot sauces please all right can I get you anything to drink yeah you know what let me get like a sweet iced tea um, just a large large tea okay and that'll be it all right, 1373, thank you. Perfect, thanks. All right, my expectations are high because the uh, lady here at the window just told me that these are absolutely delicious. So we're gonna go ahead and check them out here. Super friendly people here at Taco Bell in uh, Spindale, North Carolina. And this is awesome. what's for you. Hey, how's it going? Oh, yeah. Say hi to YouTube. Thanks, Say what's up, YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank, thank you, you very much. Day. Appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome back everybody to an all new fast food pit stops. This is my first Taco Bell review uh, on the YouTube channel and we are here to try something super special. The all new uh, quesalupas from Taco Bell. These things just came out. In order to get this before Super Bowl Sunday, you actually had to pre-order in advance and then come pick up these quesalupas, except they weren't already marketed. They were marketed in a mystery box. They weren't advertising what these were. So starting on the 6th of February, you could come get these if you pre-ordered them not even knowing what was in the box I wanted to wait to see what dropped before doing it before doing a blind review and today these are just now available to the general public now we went ahead and got all three flavors we got the beef we got the chicken and we got the steak so I wanted to do all three varieties for you guys at home to check out and let's go ahead and get this started I also got just some hot sauce just in case um, and they definitely hooked it up we got quite a few packs the price on these take a look here got a couple different prices show you here beef chicken and steak obviously the steak is going to be a little bit higher so in between uh, three dollars for the beef 379 for the chicken and 419 for the steak and I also got a tea just in case we need to go ahead and wash these suckers down oh man these suckers are big now um, I don't know anything about this at all uh, except that it's obviously a combination of a quesadilla and a chalupa. They're combining the chalupa shell, which is their fried uh, flour shell, and they're also, uh, I guess, combining a cheese quesadilla in with that. It's gonna be absolutely on fire. I can't wait to get it started. Now, these are in no particular order. Let's see if they have them labeled. Feels like they're in like some kind of a, like a cardboard, maybe a shell or a box, maybe like they're, uh, their Dorito tacos, but we've got all three here for you guys. Oh, let's go ahead and stand these suckers up. Showing it off. <laughs> oh man. Oh, and they smell good. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a little unwrapping here to see what we got first. Oh, nice. Look at the packaging. It says the cheese lover shell, extra cheesy center. Oh man. And they are hot too, and they look good. Now this one here, uh, this is the steak. You go ahead and take a look at that. Looks like we got lots of steak going on in there. We got the fresh tomatoes, the lettuce, and uh, the shell here is like a traditional chalupa shell. And then inside, I can already sort of feel and, and certainly tell that, that it's filled with uh, cheese. They've actually integrated the cheese into the chalupa shell and they fried it up um but it's not you know super crispy like it's not gonna you know have a hard crunch like a hard taco but it's definitely gonna be filled with cheese i'm gonna open all three of these for you guys right now so you can take a look and then we're gonna do a sample and then obviously the end review now here's another one oh man it smells good now this is the chicken i can smell it right away Really nice. Oh, now this one's already got the cheese kind of exploding out of it, you guys. Look, look at that, huh? Oh, and it's got uh, sour cream, it looks like. I didn't catch that on the steak when maybe the sour cream's in there. Look at that. It's good. Chicken. 
Delicious, oh my God. All right, and then the last one is gonna be the ground beef which is also the cheapest one. And I wanna get started with that one. That looks, that looks absolutely fantastic. Look how big it is too, you guys. This isn't like a regular little taco. It's, it's a good size, very nice portion. I don't wanna let it sit too long because these things don't have a long shelf life as soon as they come off the line. Let's go ahead and get this cranked up. I'm ready. It says extra cheesy center and I'm gonna show off that cheese, man, as soon as it comes out. You guys better believe it. You guys ready to dig in? Look. Obviously the regular, uh, the regular Taco Bell meat, cheese, sour cream, lettuce, tomatoes, and then it's all stuffed inside of this um, quesalupa shell, which is stuffed with some kind of a cheese blend, probably like a Mexican cheese. So you got cheese on the taco, cheese inside the taco. There's cheese everywhere. It's gonna explode all in my mouth. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. You see right there see the cheese all inside that's nice it's uh, like a white cheese so probably like a, a blended cheese inside of there really really awesome mm. Mm. wow mm -hmm. wow really really awesome it's very fresh because you got all the veggies going on. Probably way more cheese than is legally even supposed to be allowed. Let's try out their uh, sweet tea here. Oh yeah. Boy, that is some good tea. Mm. Now the next one we're going to try is the uh, chicken. Now this one I'm going to keep, I think, in the box. Just so it doesn't go all over the place. You can just see here, man. Look at the cheese coming out again, you guys. I mean, it's absolutely exploding. So that is like a, it is, oh, you know what it is? Look. It's like a, it's like a pepper jack. That's what it is. It's a pepper jack cheese. So it's a Monterey Jack with peppers. Therefore you have pepper jack. If you're a fan of pepper jack, which by the way, it's a very mild pepper jack, not spicy, but you definitely get, um, you know, a little bit of the peppers going on in there. I'm glad that they went with like a pepper jack inside instead of a, a you know, just a Monterey Jack or just a four cheese Mexican blend or something like that. This is the chicken one. See a little piece of chicken, a little chicken bite hanging out absolutely just loaded with the goodies right chicken cheese lettuce sour cream tomatoes wrapped up in this cheesy chalupa shell sour cream first mm. i personally am a big fan of just a chicken taco and that's something, uh, you know, Taco Bell has always had, and I've always enjoyed their chicken soft tacos, one of my favorite things. So they're using, I think, the same chicken. Now look, now I don't know though, this, this is, these are big pieces of chicken. Look at this. Look, this is no joke. Look how big, look at that. Uh, this is, this is probably about four or five inches long. That's about the time Ken would insert a sound that goes, ooh la la. Shout out to you, my friend. It's like a whole chicken tender. Wow. Look at that. I'm gonna stick that back in there. I'm not sure how many more of those there are in there. The guy at the window loaded this down. Nice, really nice. I'm gonna take another bite. Mm. There's not really like an exploding or overwhelming taste of chicken coming through. Taco Bell chicken is always just sort of, you know, been eh. But, but this is good. I don't, I, I think that these are either bigger pieces of chicken than they normally use maybe in their chicken soft tacos or maybe i just got lucky you can see some little grill marks and stuff there looks pretty nice yeah these things are already starting to get a little cold they were hot when they came right out of the window mm. got that sour cream thing coming through kind of cools things down tons of cheese let's go ahead and try number three the steak quesalupa this was the one that was uh, just north of four dollars you got a lot of steak, and again, man, it just the heavy factor. This is a pound. This is this is big. Let's take a look at the steak. I know a lot of you like steak. Now this looks like the same steak that they use in their steak nachos, steak burritos, steak tacos, steak everything. So nothing new there. Nice, right? It's pretty good. It's big. It's warm. It's full of all that pepper jack cheese in there. I mean, it's just absolutely 
wanting to just explode out. Let's knock out a little of this lettuce first. So I had no steak in that bite, <clears throat> just lettuce. Look at that, lots of steak. Night and day, total difference just between the flavors of the beef and the chicken. So the first one, the ground beef, had a very distinct, you know, Taco Bell taco taste, like you were just eating a taco. The chicken one, um, you know, didn't have as, as an apparent of a taste, but you knew that you were eating chicken. And you can just see that cheese coming out there. Look, I'm gonna pull this apart a little bit. It's just full, it's full of this pepper jack, this pepper jack cheese, right? Look at that. So good. Wow. Mmm. <laughs> oh. Oh wow. Mm. I do like that uh that pepper jack blend. It really, really goes with it so well. well. I think I'm ready to go ahead and review these, you guys. So today here in Spindale, North Carolina, we tried all three of the brand new Taco Bell quesalupas. We got the, st uh, the chicken, we got the steak, and we got the ground beef. So all three on a scale of one to 10 for ingenuity for Taco Bell for coming out with yet another knockout. I'm going to just give the idea of the quesalupa a total 10. You know, Taco Bell always comes out with some really cool new things, really innovative things, and they come and they go. So many things that I wish Taco Bell still had. Um, you know, probably if you know somebody in the back, if you have a connection, you can probably get them to make you something special. Uh, this is something that has never come out before. And just for the fact of trying something new from Taco Bell, I suggest you go out and just get one, get it in whatever combination, get all three like I did, whatever, but you gotta try it. As far as the uh, as far as the ground beef, this one uh, was the cheapest. This was $2.99. Uh, I'm gonna give this one uh, a, a seven because I thought it was, it was pretty good. Not too bad. I would totally get this again. On the chicken quesalupa, this actually was my least favorite. I would give this one probably like a four, um, only because it was just sort of bland tasting. Last, and certainly not least, but definitely most expensive, was the steak one, which was $4.19, and uh, this was absolutely my favorite. So this one, which I'm gonna go ahead and give one last bite to, I'm gonna go ahead and give the steak one, um, I'm gonna give it an eight, an eight. An eight and not for hate, because I'm gonna give a 10 to the total idea for Taco Bell, an eight to the steak, because the eight steak with no hate was definitely the best. Guys, I was totally excited to come out here today to check these out for you. Uh, all three varieties, we got the steak, the chicken, and the beef, and you need to go out and check them out for yourself. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. This was another great food review. I'm your host, Justin, coming at you live from Spindale, North Carolina, at Taco Bell. Thank you guys so much for following along on the channel. You all know what's up. That's why you come to me to check out the food reviews. I'll send you to where you need to go. Thanks again for checking out another Fast Food Pit Stops. I'm your host, Justin, and we'll be back with more Fast Food Reviews. Bye, everybody.